Hi, in this video, I will explain how to filter the Excel date column by month. So here is my Excel worksheet. I have got two columns. One is called the name and another, another one is called the date. The format of the date column is as follows. Here it is. So I formatted the date column as a date data type. As you can see here, the type is a date. Okay. So here I have two dates in January and another one is in December. So if I if I want to filter by month, how can I do, do it? Okay, let's start building the flow then. So first I'm going to use the Excel connector. List rows present in a table. That's action step, action step we need to use here. Then select the file. Then the table. So re remember in Power Automate, you need to have a table associated with your Excel sheet. Okay. Next step, I'm going to add a compose. And just select the date here now. So if I run this flow now, let's see what the result is going to be. So this, this time I expect all the records to be retrieved. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look. So that's returned me as a number here. See that? There's a numeric value. It's, it's returned me returned as. Okay, so you can convert using another formula formula if you want. I, I have got another video in my YouTube channel. You can have a look that how to convert that into a actual date value. So why are we receiving this as a numeric value? Because if I may take you to this action step, there is a date format here. So I shown earlier that my date is formatted as a date, uh, as a uh, the type as a date. So I'm going to select here ISO 8601. So let's see now how the result is going to be returned. So now I, got, now I have got the proper date then. So that's 2010-0105. Next, next one, 2019-1210. And another one also in January. Okay. So I got the result I want. But what we, what we are after here is we want to filter the date by month. Okay. So for that, we can't apply a filter query here, unfortunately. We can apply a date, uh, you know, date equals. Um, you could put, you know, the date, something like that. So this will give you the exact date only. Okay. But what I am after is I want only filter by Jan January or December. Okay. So for that, what I need to do here is I'm going to remove this. So the next step is the filter action step I need to use. So filter array and here the value of the previous action step. That means we are, we are getting all the rows from the table. Then here we know that's the date we need to use. So if I just select the date, move your cursor over here. You can see the tooltip, see the format item brackets question mark date. So date is my column name. Okay. So here is my date. That's the column name. See the date. Okay. So what we need to do here is remove that mapping. Go to the expression because we want to get only the month. That's what we are after. So we need to say format date time. Then, you know, the tooltip I shown you early, earlier. That means we are accessing only the date value. I'll copy this expression in my uh, video description. Here I'm going to put capital MM. -M. 
okay so now you can see what's the expression i used format the date column from the result sets to mm that means we are going to get 0 1 1 2 and 0 1 because those are the values i got 0 1 1 2 and 0 1 that's what that formula is going to give me is equal to i'm going to put 0 1 so let's run this so this is a common mistake majority of the people do so i'll show you there is not there is no results going to filter right here see there is no body here so why because this format date time it's returned that as a string value so we need to convert this into integer as well another expression that result whatever we are getting that is 0 1 1 2 and 0 1 those values we want to convert as numeric update see now we can say int and this is an integer also so now if i test now that should return two records that means the month of january i got two records in my excel sheet one and two smith and i don't there yeah so if i may take you there under the filter output see i got smith and i don't and that is 0, 01 and 0, 01 there. Let's change the filter query to the filter array to December. So I, sh I have one record for December. So it should only filter for that month only. Here it is. It's only one now there. Okay. So this is a technique we need to use here. So the uh, the main thing you need to remember here is use the filter array. We can't use the filter query here. And then we need to say the we need to uh, mention the expression which is the int converting that into for the numeric value uh, the month. Uh, the how to extract the month that is format date time with the column name comma mm that's the format we need to use hope this video is useful thank you